Everybody and welcome back to another one of everything Wednesdays. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. That's right. This week we are continuing with the training post. 69 booster packs they had when I went there. Um, it was pointed out to me that last week, even though I said I was going to only open 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 9, or whatever, you can count it, whatever. Six tens, one nine, you know. Um, I opened 11 packs. I screwed up. I screwed up. So now that means we have two weeks of opening only nine packs. Instead of opening, you know, 10 for six weeks and then nine on the last week or whatever. So we're just going to open nine now. We're going to open nine now instead of 10 packs. So let's get right in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Should we end there? Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, so there's our nine packs for this week. We will put this off to the side. All right. So, let's see what we find. First up is Eldritch Moon. We've got a Geist Fueled Scarecrow, a Weaver of Lightning, a Subjugator Angel, and our rare is a Collective Defiance. All right. Not a Collective Brutality. Collective Brutality is the better collective. But um, if you remember back when this set was around, Collective Defiance was actually the, the better of all of the collectives. Um, it saw a lot of play. Um, during this set's standard run. Um, so not a bad little card. Definitely very nice. So we'll put that right there. And we have an Alvenwald Captive, and I believe we have a foil or an additional flip. So is it an additional flip or is it a foil? It's a flip. So we ended up with an additional rare. We have a Hanweir Garrison. Or Hanweir Garrison, which flips into half of whatever this is. It's an Eldrazi Ooze. Trample Haste. Oh, whenever Hanweir the Writhing Township. So it's a Writhing Township. Whenever it attacks, you put two, three, two colorless Eldrazi creatures onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. That seems pretty uh, ridiculous. If you can get it off, I guess. All right, what's next? Eternal Masters. So two rares in one pack. We're already starting pretty decent. Starting pretty decent for this week. Two rares, one pack. Counterspell. Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. Counterspell. Uh, not quite a dollar, but I'm going to put it to the side anyway, and I will put it into the patron pile, um, and I will put it with something else. So there will be... It won't be just Counterspell. It'll be something else. Bloodbraid Elf. A couple bucks there. So not a bad little uncommon. That'll go in the pile with, ca with Counterspell as well. Mindless Automaton. Phyrexian Ingester, and Enlightened Tutor. Wow, that's a good hit for the patron pile. There you have it. And we did get a foil, Blight Soil Druid. Of course, you get a foil in all the Master's Packs. Shadows over Innistrad, the next pack. Let's see. Oh, another foil or flip in this pack. Nahiri's Machinations. Alvenwald Mysteries, Foul Orchard, and our rare is a Foreboding Ruins. There you go. Nice little, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, it's the Reveal Lands. So you can reveal a, a plane, or you can reveal a swamp or a mountain from your hand, and if you do, it comes into play untapped instead of tapped. And our flip card is a Hermit of Natternoles. And do we have a flip or do we have a, a foil? We have a foil. 
And it's a foil rare. Wow. Okay. Foil rare. Inexorable blob. So there you go. Not too shabby. We'll put that in the patron pile as well. Foil rares always make it to the patron pile, whether they're no, it doesn't matter what their value is. They're just, it's a foil rare. What can you, how can you go wrong, right? We've got uh, Oath of the Gatewatch next. Embodiment of Fury, Void Grafter, Warping Whale. This card was over a couple bucks when this set was out in standard as well. And a Reality Smasher. Wow, you guys remember this guy probably, and if you don't remember him, you're lucky. Um, this was one of the cards that was in the deck that basically was just ruining everyone else's fun time. Um... There was a modern deck, I believe, that came out with Eldrazi's, and it played, like, the Eldrazi Temples and then the Eldrazi Mimics with Reality Smashers, and it was just, like, essentially you could play this guy on turn three, and he's Trample Haste 5-5. Five, five. Uh, and, it, you know, it's a 5-5 five, five that's hard to get rid of, but if you play the Mimic on turn two and then play another one on turn three for free and then play this... Those mimics become five fives with haste, and you swing in, and it just like murders people. It was, it was, it was an interesting time for the format. That's for sure. Needless to say, the uh, wizards put the kibosh on that very quickly. BFC is next. Grove Rumbler. Akum Stonewalker, Coastal Discovery, and a Prairie Stream. Wow, all right. Another, uh, another is a fast land, I believe. So it comes into the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. I believe they, I believe that's what they were calling them, fast land. Maybe? No, that can't be right. I don't remember what they called these ones from the, from BFC. Anyway, you can remind me in the comments below. Um... They change, there's so many different names and stuff. I don't remember them all. Next up is Magic Origins. See if we can find another Baby Jace, right? Baby J. we've given away two Baby Jaces in the patron pile so far. What? That'd be sweet to give away a third, that's for sure. Elemental Bond. Blazing Hellhound. Undercity Troll. And Gideon's Phalanx. That's not anything exciting, is it? Not super exciting. That's okay, though. Ooh, Masters 25. Who doesn't like some Masters 25, right? Those of you who watch my Masterful Mondays know that uh, Masters 25, it has some value in it, but it hasn't been beating out 2013. That's for sure. Okay, Mutagenic Growth, I believe, is over a dollar still, so we'll put that in the patron pile. Maybe that will be the one that goes with the counterspell. The Demir Aqueduct, um, I'll have to check the price on this, so I'll put it in the pile here for now. I think it's the one, I think it's the only one of these lands that's over a dollar. For instance, there's the Orzov Basilica. This pack would have been terrible if you were drafting it, because you two of your uncommons are lands. Um, now, I mean, fixing is always good and everything, but... And a Nobilis of War as our rare. And our foil is a Blades of Velsve. Or Velisvel, I should say. Dragons of Tarkir. Scion of Ugin. Battle Mastery, Salt Road Ambushers, and our rare is Arashin Foremost, a human warrior with double strike. We did get a foil, Stampeding Elk Herd. Joy. All right, Fate Reforge is the last pack for this week, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we're at. Let's go nine. And you can thank me 
for opening up too many packs last week that you only get nine this week. Hey, there's the uh, there's the big boy, Gurmog Angler. He still sees play. Pilgrim of the Fires, Light Form. Oh, what am I doing? That's goes there. Shock Maw Dragon and a Wild Call. Nothing too exciting there. Oh, boom! We got a flooded strand. There it is. What a way to end this week. So we ended up with what? One, two, three lands. We ended up with a Counterspell, a Bloodbraid Elf, and a Mutagenic Growth for a commons and uncommons worth of note. We ended up with a Collective Defiance, Enlightened Tutor, Reality Smasher. Not bad. Not a bad week. Considering we only opened nine packs. We got a good amount of stuff to add to the patron pile. This is going to be a good this is going to be a good month, I think. So far we've opened up a fair amount of good stuff to add to the patron pile and I, we're just adding to it. So thank you so much for watching. Again, this has been the Trading Post located in Guelph. I will leave a description or a link to their website below in the description. Check them out if you want. Um, they have all of their prices up for booster packs as well as singles and all that kind of stuff. Um, they also sell board games and they uh, they are attached to a gaming uh, tavern and cafe is what they call it and what that is, is is essentially you can go and get food and drink and you can play board games and rent them and such and it's it's actually pretty nice so anyway thank you so much for watching i've been your host mr Bevers, and as always may your pulls ever be better <laughs>